Hello? Hey, good evening. How are you? Good, good. How are you? I'm still recovering from my COVID booster. Oh, man. I, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. So. Good. But you're all set, though. That's good. Yeah, yeah, I got to take care of it. Uh... Glad to be here with you, and hello to anybody watching this uh, after the fact on, on the YouTube. We are welcoming you to session number two of our second playthrough of the Great Campaigns of the American Civil War, Hood Strikes North campaign game. Wow, that is a mouthful. Uh, <laughs> but we're here. Uh, we're we're a little delayed. Usually we do this over the weekend, but uh, we just had all kinds of things going on. So we're doing this yeah. on a Monday night. That'll put us behind a day, but no biggie, no big deal. I'll try to get this out as quick as I can. We've had a little extra time to think about things, and uh, first and foremost, I want to I want to give a, a great big thank you shout out to uh, all the feedback we got on the positive feedback, just the enthusiasm on the first first session. That was great. Uh, but in addition to that, we, as usual, I, you know, I goofed a couple things, but we got some fantastic rules, reinforcements from out there, and I want to thank Ken and a few others out there. They're very simple fixes, I think. Uh, one of them I caught in post, and I made a note of there, and that's the first one we're going to correct here. And then the second one was related to my inability to read simple paragraphs in the, in the rule book. Uh, I, I don't know if we've gotten that right yet. <laughs> well, you know what? We're going to get it right now, because I just went through it. I just read it three times, and I said, okay, I, I got it now. So, First and foremost, the first one benefits you, because uh, as as I noticed, uh, it's funny we were you know when we say things out loud we do the math and then and then then at the last second before we roll the dice we say another number and it's so funny so in your last attack there the the grand assault onto forest yeah. uh, you actually had a plus seven and then at the very last, very last second you you I guess inadvertently corrected yourself or shorted yourself a point. When that was all said and done, it was actually enough to give you uh, a one FA instead of one DA. Yeah. And I just and I went back and I looked at the vassal log, and the only one that was affected by that, and I have since corrected was Cox, and I corrected it for you here. Yeah. I flipped him back well, organized, so he's good. He is, of course, everybody was at fatigue level four, so that was no yeah. problem. The other one, uh, as pointed out, like I said, by Ken, and thank you very much, uh, was related to Brown. And uh, so what I think the, the thing to do here, since obviously there were a couple of passes I did before we even got to the rain, um, presumably, you know, I would have made every attempt to keep him near Hood. So I think what I'm going to do yep. here is I'm going to take him all the way back to 0101, and he would come on with the one fatigue already, so his first activation would be at fatigue level two. Uh, so I'll put him back there, and he would get the, and I was also shorting myself the plus one for their first mm -hmm. activation. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to recreate, I'm just going to do three fresh rolls um, and see how far he gets. And and if he's, you know, way back, oh well, that's that's just the, the way of things. Um because I, I did get incredibly good fortune by the, having them both associated with that first six roll, and uh, that that was not so. So I'm going to put him to fatigue level two, and I'm going to roll for this movement and give him plus two for his initial one. So here's his movement, and and there you go, because the universe yeah. says, no, no, yeah. you're not going to get it that easy, buddy. Yeah. So he's going to go one, two, and three, and then I will take him to fatigue level three, he is. He would not have been exhausted at this point. I will roll again and give him a plus one for this. Okay, so he gets four this time. And he would need an extended march anyway. So here's this. Okay, he would flip. All right, well, so it's, it's all balancing out, apparently. So he flips, and he goes four. One, two, three, and four. Uh, and then the question would be, would I have pushed him farther? Probably. So I will take him to four. Uh, I will give him one more roll, plus one, and he would get a three this time, and his extended march would be a plus one, 
he would have been okay. So he'll go one, two, three. So that's where Brown would have ended up at fatigue level four. Uh, so I think that puts us right. And then presumably okay. if I get bait and everybody on board tonight, then, you know, they, they will all be playing, playing catch up. So that certainly affects my turn for, uh, as we're calling it, the Natchez Gambit, because uh, now they're stretched out a bit, right? <laughs> and that gives you some thoughts mm-hmm. about the Indiana boys. Uh, so was there anything else that you wanted to uh, fix or discuss or address before we move on to turn four? We are in late rain. Is that correct? That is correct. Yes. Rain. And um, so that's our random event for the first day here. And we are on day. Day four. Four. So, yeah, I think I've got tonight, uh, I've got some decisions to make. Right. Um, depending on how things go here. Um, it's an interesting scenario. I mean, technically, Thomas isn't on the map. But in real life, he's sitting in a hotel room in Nashville going, where is everybody? You promised me people. Uh, <laughs> we haven't even started on the horses yet. Jeez. Yeah. So this is, uh, I, I took a look at the map uh, yesterday and realized uh, I got nobody. <laughs> so this could be an interesting turn for me. Um, so that's about all I'm going to say. No, I don't sure. wanna... Well, I, I did the same thing beforehand. I was just kind of looking at some things going, gosh, you know, <laughs> I could do this or I could do that. But uh, yeah, I think where we left it with our discussion last time was, I, I think we're both pleased for the most part. Is certainly different from the last time. Many people have pointed that out. This is like, this is the totally antithetical version of last time. Oh, and I said, yeah. yeah, I know. Isn't it great? Uh, so there's been no threats to Columbia thus far. We've got flanks established, more or less, but I think it's, we are both kind of like, uh, I'm waiting for more units to arrive, you're waiting for defensive units to arrive, and you still have that big question of how much of a stand do you want to make with the 4th Corps, right? Uh, or are you just trying yeah. to get them through Columbia as per the historical narrative? Uh, so this this will be a very interesting turn, you know? I, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I think much of that depends on what you're going to do, right? So we say that every yeah. week. All right, so let's go through, if you are ready. Uh, we, we yes, I believe I am. All right, so Union Good Manpower morning. Enhancement, it is your turn to see if you get some more f- people to make up for... Okay. So a five is odd. On a roll of three or five, he chooses a single union infantry ah, unit. Okay. Infantry. So yes. So the five counts Including for Including regiments. Could certainly uh, make up for Whitaker's loss there. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm going to make up for Whitaker's loss. So he's going to get an extra manpower here. Okay. So, okay, so this is my reinforcement roll. Negative four to this roll. Okay. <laughs> Still zero. <laughs> okay. okay, so... No, it's your turn. Well, uh... No, not yep, yet. Now you do leader transfers. No, I do leader transfers. I'm going to move Stanley to Waters. And Wilson... I can find him in that stack. It's going to go over to Croxton. That school field will... St- Stay where he is, I believe. Yeah, he'll stay where he is. Okay. I think I'm going to have Forrest come over to Jackson. And Lee is going to go up the road. Two, four, six, seven, to Clayton. And uh, uh, I will put uh, Cheatham and Hood to Brown. Leave Cleburne there. And I think those are my big moves for leadership. So attachment, do you have any attachment that you'd like to do? No attachments for me. I don't think I have any. I don't think anyone qualifies, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, then we do my Confederate arrivals. And you've got the little chart handy. Uh, What's my modifier for turn four? Section thirteen O turn four. Your modifier is no modifier on turn four. Okay, so here's the roll. Come on, big six. It's a two. A two is you get to bring in wow, four levels. Really? Okay. So is that right? 
Uh, die, you rolled a two. No modifier. Yeah, four levels. Okay, so that will take me six, seven, eight, and nine. That will be everybody. So that will bring bait, uh, and then all the way down, all of Stuart's core in, in turn. Um, okay, so unlike last time, we are going to do this, uh, as they say, by the book, and then I'm eligible for them but i will not put them on the map until it is my initiative so activation right. yeah so bring them in one at a time as right. i remember that is right. right so okay good well that's uh and then i don't have to worry about anything till turn 10 so okay uh well then let us start the action cycle with uh, our first initiative roll and good luck as always sir good luck to you that's a four for me Four for me. So that's a tie. I st goes to you. still have it. Still got it. All right. So many things to think about. I didn't expect to get the first initiative. I should have, though. Um, let's do this. I'm going to bring bait on to a 101. And so he would get the one for going to that spot. And then his first activation takes him to fatigue level two. He's now going to get a plus two to this roll. So here is his movement. Six. Great. One, two, three, four, five, and... Oh, ever so close. Six. Okay. Initiative. Four. I'm going for a four. I get it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, four... Wow, that is uh, yeah, there. There are no streaks <laughs> on the die roller. No. Okay, uh, we will then move. Yeah, we'll take bait again to fatigue level three this time. And here is his movement plus one. Get six. Wow, nice. So here's his extended march. He's okay. One, two, three, four, five, and. Six. Hmm. Okay. Uh, initiative. Oh, it's broken. Three. Oh, there you oh, go. All right, but let me. I keep my four streak alive here. Well, we have the possibility of late rain anytime. Gofield. Gonna activate Ruger, Wagon A, and Sub One. Wood and Wagon B, so Wood will need a Extend March. Um, so this will be their movement. One die plus one is a six. Ruger's going to go first. He's, we're going to leave a sub behind. So here's sub three. It's going to be a two-man power sub. He gets to keep his entrenchment because he's not moving. I'm going to give him one piece of artillery. So Ruger loses two manpower. He loses one piece of artillery. And he loses his entrenchments. So, uh, Ruger's going to go one, two, three, four to the Duck River Station. Uh, Sub one needs a fatigue. Somebody didn't get his fatigue. Uh, he's going to go next. Six. There's no penalty for bridges, if I remember correctly. No, there isn't. Nope. Ford, so. Um, wagon A will stay on top of sub one. Uh, here's Wood's extended march. And he loses manpower. Or does he lose two manpower? No, it's going to be plus one for that. Goes to a seven as a nine. Well, only one. I almost gave him the man. Ooh, that would have been annoying. He can go six. He's just going to go one, two, and three to there. Wagon B is going to go six hexes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Initiative die roll. Six. Three. Okay, now Stanley's going to activate Wagon C, Waters, and Wagner, all to fatigue one. There's their movement, one die plus one. They can go four. Waters goes first, one, two, three, four. Stanley, of course, goes with him. 
wagon C ends up on top of them. I have to go one, two, three, four to there. Initiative five. Four. Uh, Schofield will activate. I'll activate wagon C and Waters in Wagner. Here's their movement. One die plus one. Seven. Wagon C will go first. One, two. The wagon is two MPs. So it's going to be three, four, five. That's as far as he can go. One, two, three, four, five for them. Wagner can go seven. One, two, three, four, five. Six. He'll go seven to 2015. Initiative die roll. Two. 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 All right. Let's uh, activate Brown and Bait. Bait will be going to four. Here's their movement from Cheatham plus two. Four. Four. Mm -hmm. Bait. All right. Let's see. Bait's a plus one to his extend. He's okay. And I guess uh, they will transfer to him. And go one, two, three, and four. Brown follows behind. Two, three, and four. All right. Initiative. Oh, and Brown had an extended march, too. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, let me do that, because he was going to fatigue level 2. Okay, so he's all right. Uh, so 5 is my extend, and then 5 was my apparently my roll for... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's initiative? Yeah. Okay. 2, all right. yours again. All right. uh, yeah, i gotta, I got to take an opportunity here, so... Uh, Cheatham will activate Cleburne and Brown. Get an extend for both. Here's their movement plus two. Yikes. <laughs> I always pick the wrong time to get the slows. All right. Um, so they will transfer to Cleburne. Cleburne will go first. Here's this extend, of course. Everything's all going wrong. Oops, not that. W flip. So we've said that first die roll of the evening. Yeah, it time. sure <laughs> does. It sure does. All right, so they get uh, three total. One, two, and three. And then Brown's extended now plus one. Wow. Wow. He's going to lose a manpower. So he's just going to go one, two, and three. All right. Initiative. Two. Four. That's mine. Wilson's going to activate Croxton, Coon under Hatch, and Low under Johnson. I'll go to Fatigue one. Their movement two die plus two for Wilson. That's seven. Johnson will go first. One, four, six, seven. Wilson, one, three, four, five, six, seven. Hatch, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Johnson's out of range. Uh, in it, die roll. Six. Three. Three, okay. Everything's coming up Union tonight. Well, so far things are going well, but they can fall apart pretty quickly. Johnson and Loa out of Wilson's range, so it'll just be Croxton and Coon. T2. Here's their movement. Uh, two die plus two. Seven. 
nine this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Coon, one, two, three, seven, eight, and nine. Initiative. Three. 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 All right, we'll have for us to activate everybody in range. 15th level one for them. Here's their movement of two die plus three to nine. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Buford will go one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Hate these roads. Seven, <laughs> eight, yeah, it seems like you feel go wherever you want. You always end up having to do a right. semi circle. Jeez. Okay. Uh, initiative. Yours again. Okay. Forest will activate Bell and Crossland to two. Here's their movement plus three. So the eight. He'll transfer over there. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Initiative four one once again. All right, uh, Jackson will activate both his units to two. They'll need an extend. Here's their movement plus two. Another seven. So Ross is extend first. He's okay. And he'll go one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and Armstrong's extend. He's okay. They'll end up at the same spot. Okay, initiative. Two. One, yours again. All right, uh, Lee will activate Clayton and Stevenson. To fatigue level one. Here's their movement. It's four. Uh, he'll go with Stevenson. One, two, three, and four. Because <laughs> I'm a betting man. And Clayton will just follow behind. Initiative. Three. Yours again. Hmm. I'll take them again. Level two, here's their movement. Eight. Nice. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to there. Okay. Initiative six. Sure. Son. I will bring on. Let's see here. We got Stuart and Loring. We can go one ten to one fourteen. Their first activation. Here's their movement plus three this time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Leadership's terrible for me tonight. <laughs> One, two, three, and four. Okay, initiative. Two. Three, this one's mine. Take the 123rd Indiana, fatigue one. Use his entrenchments. And here's his movement, just a single die. There we go. Guys were sleeping. Spreading the love. I'll <laughs> fall back to the school. Uh, initiative two, three. 
yours. I will bring bring Waffle on at one eleven. And here is his movement of plus two. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> two ones in a row there. <laughs> I could cry. One, two, three. At least if I, you know, if I'm. He's there together. If, yeah, well, <laughs> if I'm gonna lose, you know, blame the die roller. It's you know everybody can relate to that. All right, here's the initiative. That I get five. Yeah, that's yours. All right, let's uh, let's bring my last unit on French. And I'm actually going to bring him to 114, I think. Get, get some mileage, maybe. Uh, here's movement, plus two. There we go. There you go. All right, might as well just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to there. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. All right, uh, initiative six. That's going to be yours. All right, uh, we'll activate all three of them again. Here's their movement plus two. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six, and waffle. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Initiative. Six. Yours again. Now it's going to be you. Okay. Let's, uh, let's take them all to three. Here's their movement plus two. Another eight. Okay. So That's not good. French's extended march is okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, Stuart Loring's extend. He's okay. Eight and Walthels extend. Ah, always the oh, always the stragglers. <laughs> All right, so he goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight to there. All right, initiative six. That's always going to be yours. Those sixes. Yeah. Now what? <laughs> now what? Uh, okay, yeah, we got to take them to four. Because we're never going to get across the duck otherwise. All right, here's the movement. Plus two. Yeah, there it is. Okay, French is extend plus one. It's okay. One, two, three. Uh, Loring's extend plus one. He is okay. Hmm. And I'll just go one, two, three to there. And Waffles extend plus one. He's okay. And he will go one, two, and three to there. Initiative five. Mm. Man, that's close as I could have gotten. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna activate Crossland and Bell with Forest. Here's their movement plus three. <laughs> Six. Ay, 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 ay. Now watch. Now watch. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Watch, folks. <laughs> Crossland! Extended. Yeah, he's just barely okay. He's fine. We'll go one, two, two there. And bells extend. <laughs> Man. This night is just killing me. Alright. They flip and they will join. Alright. Initiative one. I suspect that is a chance for rain. A chance for rain, yeah, but it's yours. No, no, no rain today. Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting Confederate infantry north of the duck today. Which means I've got to do a lot more with those guys around Columbia than I really wanted to. Schofield's gonna activate Whitaker, Cox, and Wood, all three. Got to get these guys across the duck now. Any luck? So they'll all need extend marches. So here's their movement. One die plus one. And there we go. Movement of two. Hmm. 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 Do Whitaker first. Here's his extend march. He's okay. He's going to go one, two to Thomas Springs. Do Cox next. He's okay. He's going to go one, two. Finally, Wood. And he's going to lose some manpower. Actually, that's six plus two. Yep. So that's an eight. He's eight on eight. Eight. So he's going to lose two manpower. The power of Acme Axel Grease. So he's going to fall back one hex to there. I really wanted a little better die rolls than that for that effort. Hmm. <laughs> Initiative. It's a one for me. Chance for rain. Nope, Five. Fine. Rain wouldn't have bothered me at all. No, I point. don't imagine it, it would. <laughs> going to activate Johnson, Clayton, and Stevenson. Okay. okay. So here's their movement. Yeah. See? See? It's good when you plan for that. You know that's going to happen. <laughs> so uh, Johnson doesn't need an extend. He's just going to go there. Mm -hmm. uh, Stevenson does need an extend, so here's his. He's okay, and he's just going to join him. And then Clayton's extend. He's okay, and he's just going to go there. All right. Initiative. Three. Two. Yours. I think I've run out of pieces. <laughs> Uh, I believe I have moved everybody that I wish to move, so I'm going to pass. Okay. Well, I hate to do this, but I need to get Cox and Whitaker. Wood, do I dare move Wood? That would be a plus three to his. It'd be like plus four, yeah. Three plus the union. Plus four. Man, I don't want to move these guys, but... Well, not with Loring coming up from the south. I've got to take Cox and Whitaker. I've got to get it out of that flank. No. I don't want to entrench. I'm just going to take them to the T3. Yeah, I'll roll for movement. It's five. Here's Cox's extended dice. Extended march. It's one die plus two. He's okay. I'm just going to men move him to Columbia. Well, let's go field. Here's Whitaker's extended arch. Wow, he's okay, too. Yeah. <laughs> um, All the dice rolls are backwards tonight. Gotta do the opposite, uh, Jerry. Uh, <laughs> I could have gone to eighteen sixteen, but that was a dead end, it looks like, to me. I mean, he gets across the river, but then where is he going to go? Nowhere. Hopefully you'll make an assault on Columbia here now on this turn. Mm -hmm. this next <laughs> Four. Five. It's yours. Uh, Here it comes. Lee makes a grand of the soul. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no. You know me better than that. 
Yeah, twelve to seventeen. I don't think so. Uh, I will <laughs> drive me out of there. <laughs> I will pass. <laughs> we don't need Columbia that bad. Okay, let me try the one twenty third Indiana again. I tried him a little earlier, but then you got frisky on me. Um, one dice. You can go three hexes. Two, three. Initiative. Four. Two. Two. Yeah, we'll take him to fatigue three. That's the 123rd Indiana. He can go five hexes. Extended die roll. Four. He's okay. Take on Claiborne with his plus four. I don't think so. One, two, three, four, four, and five. And I did not know there was a Santa Fe, Tennessee. Uh, initiative, a one. Chance for rain. Nope. Nope, no rain. Uh, I will pass. Okay, now I'll take the 91 Indiana. Loses his entrenchments. Here's his movement. Five. We go one, two, three, four, five. Initiative. Four. Six. Continue to pass. Okay, we'll take him to T2. Just movement. There we go. And we'll take him there. We'll try to get him to a Ruger. Initiative. Two. Two. Pass. Okay, take him to T3. Here's his movement. Three. Extended dice. Four. It's a plus one for him. Three, one, two, three. Doesn't get to Ruger. Really wanted him to get to Ruger. Initiative two, six, pass. Stanley will activate wagon A, sub one, and wagon B. Here's their movement five. One, two, three, four, five. Wagon A ends up on top of him. Wagon B. One, two, three, four, five. Initiative. Two. Five. Uh, Working things over. I will pass again. Okay. Wilson will activate Stuart. Teague one. Two dice plus two for him. Wow. He can go 14 hexes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. He's going to put up a flank refuse this last movement. Initiative five. One. Dork's going to build an abatis. Initiative one. Chance for rain. And he's at fatigue level two, right? Stuart? Yes, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, yes. Chance for rain. No, no rain. But I'll pass. Okay. Activate Capron. He's at the bottom of the stack with Schofield. He's cab unit. So he's just going to increase his fatigue to one. So he just gets two, 12 again. Wow. Okay. He's just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to there. He's just going to join Wilson. Okay. Initiative. Four. Three. I think I've got a rail move out of Murfreesboro. Okay. So I'm going to take Van Cleve to fatigue two, and he's going to travel by rail up the railroad here through Smyrna, through La Verge, Antioch, past the insane asylum, 
for Negley, and then I think he disembarks right there. Does. Because I think like most major towns, they didn't have through rail connections at that point. Yeah. Initiative. Three. Three. I will pass. I think I gotta move all my infantry up there. I I just don't think I'm gonna get reinforcements anytime soon. And these guys are almost nothing, so I'm taking the one fortieth Indiana. I think I can move eleven manpower, so I've got plenty of yeah. room on the railroad. And they're just gonna follow the same track. Up the railroad, up the railroad, up the railroad, up the railroad to Van Cleve. Initiative. Three. Three. Pass. One, two, three, four, five threes. Um, and the 17th U.S. Colored. We're going to get into this fight. Up the railroad. They shall go. Side effects. Choo-choo. Initiative. Six. Two. I'm going to pass. I, I will pass as well. Okay. Um. I mean, I could give you very generous terms for Columbia. I'll give you like 12 bucks for it if you just want to walk away. <laughs> but <laughs> whatever. Uh, this might, Confederate script is if great. I, if, I hadn't, if I hadn't had to go to D3 to get Cox and Wood and Whitaker all in there. I that, was, probably... uh, that was my hope. I was hoping to, to get a little more disorganization out of that, but it is what it is. All right. So we get a recover in sunshine. Rain never appeared. That's fine with me. Uh, all right. So opening up our chart here, we did recovery, and we still don't have your cavalry phase yet. No victory points, and our turn indication has m moved on to turn five. So we will now go to our random events for turn five. Uh, I think I will take the honors for this one. So okay. There we go. Two D. It's eight, so it's army initiative change, uh, or Union Night March. So it's Union Night March. So you get a Night March, because we're between turns three and ten. Oh, okay. It's generous in that you can move, what, you get two free activations? Two activations. With a minimum die roll, or you just... Minimum get... die roll, no extended marches. Or you can just... If you feel lucky, you just take one and just move right now. Yeah, I'll do the night march. That's going to be that's part of the action cycle. Right. So, yeah, when we get to that, you will get the first two. So let's do your manpower enhancement phase. Odd or even here. Two is single cav unit existing manpower by one. The max is three, if I remember correctly. Oh, let's bring low up to a two. Okay. All right. Uh, and now you uh, try your reinforcements. Much reinforcements. Four. Now I'm going to turn five, which is a minus three. And that's a one or less, which again is a zero. Man. This is, uh, it's killing me. <laughs> All right. I have no reinforcements at the moment. So leader transfers. I think I'm going to leave everybody where they are. I'm going to move Forest. I believe I can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, you can just get to Chalmers. Cutting through some Zox. And I'm going to move uh, Kleber, or Cheatham and Hood back to Brown. And that is all. Attachments, if any. No, I'm not. Uh, didn't. Uh, wasn't able to get set up. Well, let's see. You could put you sub three to sub Cox. Three. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna suck up sub three here. And I believe since he was the larger, he does not get the entrenchments. That is correct. Yeah. And he also contains exhaustion. Then we move on to. The action cycle, and I have no more arrivals, so that is skippable. Uh, so you now, with your night march, uh, will take actions. your two free actions. Okay. First one is going to be Wilson's going to activate the two cav units, Wagon A. Well, he's going to activate uh, Coon, 
Croxton, Capron, Wagon B, and Wagon A. And as I recall, the wagons will just get the, the half. Yeah, they get two dice plus two divided by two rounding up. Gotcha. Okay. And we know they're going to get a minimum of a six, six rolls. Yeah. Uh, that's a very good use for that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. So, so that's an eight. Uh, yeah, so they get to move eight. Is the die roll, they get to move four because it's halved for the wagon movement. So it could cool. have been a little better. But the horses right. didn't want to wake up. So, yeah, I don't want that. So he, he'll get to Spring Hill. One, two, three. Actually, he can go four. Yeah. Because Hatch can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Wilson and the other two will go one, two, three, four. Spring Hill. For my second activation, I'm going to do it this way. Schofield will activate sub two. Everybody under Schofield. Slipping away into the night across the Duck River. How cinematic. Basically. And then Waters and Wagon. E T one. That's one, two, three, four, five, plus one wagon. Here's the movement. Men of three. That didn't matter. It's four. So waters and wagon C will go first. Waters goes one, two, three, four. Line up top. Sub two is going to go one, two, three, four. It's going to go one, two, three, four. It's going to go one, two, three. Cox is just going to go and then move one to there. I believe I did all that correctly. Here's their first initiative. It's a three. Two. What to do first? Because Wilson's going to activate Caper and Croxton, Wagon A and Wagon B and Coon. Here's their movement. Two dice. It's two. Nine. So that'd be five. The wagons can move five movement points. That's right, yeah. So I'm just going to move everybody together. One, two, three, four, five. And they're going to follow along behind. One, four, five. Initiative. Two. Six. And yours. Guess we will activate everybody under Cheatham, or everybody with Cheatham in range. So here's their movement, plus two. Six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And brown. One, two, three, four, five. Six and bait extended march. He's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Initiative three. There you go. It's yours. Okay. Um, Forest will activate Rucker Bethel. Here's their movement plus three. It's ten. I'm gonna go one. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. God, I hate those roads. Uh, initiative one, two. Schofield's going to activate Wagner to T one, Wood to T two. So he'll need an extended march. Whitaker to T two. He'll need an extended march. And Cox to T two, and he'll need an extended march. So here's their movement. So whopping three. I dare say we don't need rain in this playthrough <laughs> no, because play. <laughs> we're we're rolling low enough as it is. Okay, so this is Woods. Woods going to go first. Here's his extended die roll. He's okay. He's going to go two, three. Wagner will go 
next. So he's just going to go one, one and two to there. Uh, here's Whitaker's extended die roll. Four plus one. He's okay. One, two, three. Finally, Cox's extended die roll. He's okay. One, two, three. Problem is, you now have that bridge. I would have liked to have stayed there, but you just got too many guys down there to the east. You get trapped in it. Five. Four. Four. That's mine. Okay, Johnson will activate low. No, two that plus one. They're rolling well. My cab forces are. Mm hmm. Just wait until they get tired. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He will throw up a flanks refuse there. Initiative six. Two. Stanley will activate waters. Wagon D and sub one. Wagon C and waters go to T two. Sub one goes to T one. Here's their movement. Five. One. Two with sub one. Wagon C and waters are going to go one, two, four, five to Spring Hill. Initiative six. Good. No. Oh, oh hey. I... It's my turn. Yay. Well, we'll move Rucker and Biffle with Forest again. There's their movement plus three. Ten. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. End of there. Initiative. Five. Two. Um, have Armstrong and Ross with Jackson. Here's their movement. Plus two. Seven. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Initiative, five. Three. Uh, Buford will take his two. Uh, in movement plus two is ten. He'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten to there. Initiative three. Six. Okay. Just burn these wagons and be done with it. <laughs> Do it. I approve. <laughs> what I I am sensing about you is uh, what I love about this the whole scenario is it's the fear of the unknown. It's like yes. What what's what could I possibly do if I get a great roll? Uh, and that's time. Plus, you are as you pointed out, you just loathe to move them because now they're on fatigue level two. While they're not going to recover, now how far do you push them? Yep, Stuart getting as far east and north as he did when he arrived was just. <sighs> He was your MVP. He did that on your side, just on the west side in your game. Yeah. And you've got Cheatham to the to the west. You know, historically, I, I, I'm playing both Schofield and Thomas, but as Schofield, he's got two orders. <laughs> he's got get back to Nashville as quick as you can, but slow him down as much as you can. I can't do both at the same time, General Thomas. God damn it. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're going to take... Uh, Okay, because Ruger and Sub 2 are not hanging out there. Uh, so, the little infantry regiments are just 
gonna have to move. Death curse. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna take Wood Whitaker, Cox, Sub Two, and Ruger are all gonna get a fatigue. So Wood goes to fatigue three. Whitaker goes to fatigue three. Cox goes to fatigue three. Sub two only goes to fatigue one or two, and Ruger just goes to fatigue one. And Wagner can't be activated because I've got I can only activate five units at times for my five. So here we go. Movement. That's nice. So here's Wood, and that's gonna be a plus two for his movement or his extend dice. He's okay. Mm. Suddenly seeing a great chance was lost. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, here's Whitaker's extend roll. It's five, so he's gonna lose a manpower. Go six. One, two. Can get to Woodlawn Halls. So I'm putting him in my chairs. One, four, five, six. And here's Cox's extend die roll. He's okay. Four, five, six. Sub two does not have extend die roll. One, two, three, four. He's going to stop there. Five. Ruger's going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. Initiative three. Three. It's yours. All right. Well. It's time to move in here. So Lee will activate Stevenson, Johnson, and Clayton. That will go to fatigue level one. Uh, here is their movement plus two. It's four. So Clayton will go one, two, three, and four. Johnson and Lee go one, two, three, four. And Stevenson will go one to there. We'll drop a sub. <laughs> two manpower, one artillery. Well, that was one, two, three, four. Stop there. Take control of Columbia. Hooray! Without a shot. Look at yeah. that. It was worth 12 bucks. All right. <laughs> to, to the good people of Columbia, I mean nothing but but fun. Uh, and sub one has a... There he goes. All right. Initiative five. Five. Yours again. Well, interesting. Gotta push him a little bit up here. So Cheatham is gonna activate everybody up a fatigue. Here's their movement plus two. Seven. All right. Cleburne will march first. Here's his extended march. It's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then Browns extend. He's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And Bates has got a plus one to his extend. He's okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right. Initiative two. Six. It's mine. I'm going to take Stuart to fatigue one. This is the Cav Stuart. And he's just going to remove his flanks refused. Get rid of that plus one. He's kind of a sacrificial lamb right now. But he's the best roadblock I have. Five. Two. Going to activate Wagner fatigue two. Just movement. And go two hexes. He's gonna go one, two to there. Initiative four, three. 
Schofield's going to activate Ruger and sub two. Sub two will need an extended dice roll. Wagner, need extended dice roll. T three and sub one. One die plus one. Seven. Here's Ruger's movement. Uh, there is a road to Carter's Creek Station from here. So that's going to be one, two, three. Five, six, seven to Williamsburg. Here's sub two's extended die roll. Two, he's okay. He's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and six. Sub one, one, two, three, four, and five to Whitaker. Wagner extended die roll. Come on. Oh. He, he's okay. Incredible, he, he, incredible he, he, extended march rolls uh, tonight for you. <laughs> um, that's not how they normally go. Um, I still have nightmares about uh, was it Blinkers Mountain Division <laughs> or Core? I think I went five or six on extended die rolls with a movement of one. He's going to go one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven to there because of the wagon. Initiative three, five. Yours. All right. Cheatham will activate Cleburne. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll see. If you go to fatigue level three. Here's plus two to this roll. See, it doesn't matter what I try or what I plan. <laughs> Now let's see if we can get the other end of that bookend. Uh, plus one to the extended march. Okay, he's all right. So he goes one to there with two remaining. What would Stuart like to do? Stuart's going to stand. Stuart is going to stand. You're trying to kill Cleburne, aren't you? Are you trying. I'm hoping. Mm. <sighs> is it worth it to risk his life to attack a simple cav unit? <laughs> Holding an Let's unimportant see. crossroads in the middle of nowhere. <sighs> no, it's a vital crossroad at this point. <laughs> With a creek too. We gotta we gotta get potable water. Um, okay, so if I were to attack, it'd be a normal attack, so I would get plus three for uh, tactical plus one for ratio two to one. Oh I've no. Got a, I've got no a yeah, you got three. So no, I wouldn't even get that. So uh so it would be a yeah. plus three and then minus one for the creek, so it would be a plus two attack. Can't believe I'm agonizing over this. Plus two sucks, so no, no, I'm not going to attack. All right, Stuart, you'll win this day, Gadget. <laughs> Next time, Gadget. All right, here's the initiative. Three. Six. Okay. We're going to push some wagons here. Uh, Wilson's going to take... Coon, Wagon A, Capron, Wagon B, and Croxton to T3. Here's their movement. Two dice plus two. Oh, nice. So that's an 11. And we got a bunch of extended die rolls. Um, yes. Yes. We'll start, we'll start with Wagon A. So this is going to be one for Union, one for being a wagon north of the duck. That's so awesome. plus two. Mm-hmm. And he'll be moving six. Yep. He's okay. Of course he is. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. Here's Coon, which is Union Cav late war, so there's no yeah, you don't have anything modifier. For right. And he's okay. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to stand top of wagon A. A. Find some cover. Wagon B. Uh, plus two. And he does flip. He can go six. So he's just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Uh, here's Capron's extended die roll. He flips. And he and Wilson are going to travel together. Which I should have announced at the beginning, and they're just going to end up on top of Wagon B. Finally, Croxton. He's okay. And he's going to go up and support Stuart. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Initiative six. Four. We'll take Croxton to T four. And he will also entrench, making that a little tougher proposition. Initiative four. Two. Ninety first Indiana Infantry Regiment. There we go. I'll do a min move to Bristol. Initiative. Can't for rain. Nope, no rain. We will activate Johnson to two. Here's his movement. Plus two. Seven. Hmm. We are way ahead of Right now, you should just be arriving on the map. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> Let's just do the straightforward. One, two, three, four, five, six to there. Initiative. One. Two. Okay. We'll take the 91st Indiana to take two. He'll need an extended march. Four. Here's his extended die roll plus one. He's okay. Him through the woods. One, two, three, four. Keep him away from trouble. Initiative. One. Five. I'll pass. One twenty third Indiana. One die. Two. One. Two. Knit. Three. Six. I will pass again. Your, pass again. Uh, 123rd Indiana. Six. Extended March. Two. He's okay. I don't want to give you any ideas. One, two, three, three, five, six. Initiative three. One. Mine. Yeah, I'll try the one twenty third Indiana again. Movement five. Extended die roll plus two. He's okay. So you can go one, two, three. He can get there. Yeah. Uh, init five. Four. We'll take the 91st Indiana to take three. Here's his movement. Two. Extended dice. Five. And he is going to flip. Oh, two hexes. One. Yeah, my extended die roll is going to be very good tonight. Uh, init. Five. Two. Two. Okay. Activate Van Cleave back in Nashville. Here's his movement. Three. He's going to go one, two to there. In it. Six. Two. 17th uh, U.S. Colored Infantry. Here's their movement. Six. One, two, three to there. Initiative. Five. Two. One fortieth infantry. Movement. Two. Let's do a min move to Fort Morton. Initiative. Six. Five. Seventeenth full code of fatigue two and build an abatis. Initiative. Two. Five. 
I'll pass. On 40th, we'll go to Petite 2, and then we'll build an Abatis. Initiative is a 4. 3. And Cleave will go to Petite 2, and he will build an Abatis. Initiative. 2. 3. And I believe I'll pass. Take Stuart to T2. And he'll continue to entrench. Initiative. 1. I'll pass. Okay. Take Stuart to T3. He'll entrench one more time. Initiative. 3. 6. I'll pass again. I will pass also. We'll hit recover. Everyone has recovered. And we'll see here. Um, no cavalry phase. Victory point phase. Hurrah! Columbia has fallen into my hands. One point. Ding! <laughs> uh, Only uh, how many more to go? <laughs> This is what depressed me as we went into the game. I hadn't had a good plan, and I was like, I'm not making any progress. I have 170 some points to go. But we're making great time. All right, turn indication phase is uh, moved on to turn six. So let us then, uh, I think this is a great point to stop. We'll get our random event for the next turn, and uh, we will call it a session here. This has been, uh, we will discuss our good or ill fortune for this. So, why don't you give us the next event? Okay. Two dice is an eight, which I believe is... <laughs> Another Union Night March. Night oh, March. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. It's just oh, get better and better. That's positive for me, I have to say. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. Two in a row. Mm. Man. Okay. Well... The, the only good thing about this is that you'll get some fatigues out of it. You won't have to face any extended marches, though, potentially. So I will. Uh, you'll have the week to consider how you want to do that. But uh, Actually, I'll have more than a week because I am going to be here this that's week. That's right. So that's we have right. something of a break. That's right. We're going to have a little break. Internet. That's right. They'll never know because I'll cut that out. <laughs> and, well, <laughs> plus, maybe maybe after, we'll leave them wanting more. I don't know. Plus, after two weeks, people aren't going to say, I gotta wait, but I well, see it right there. It's yeah, because right uh, yeah, so you'll be gone this weekend, and then we will have one the next time, the next weekend, uh, and then I'll be gone the following yeah. weekend to BGG Con. So yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna slow the pace down here a little bit. Uh, it's like it's a, a late rain turn or something. Right. Well, I will, as always, let you take the podium here first and talk about tonight. What do we what do we see? Good, bad, ugly, indifferent, whatever. Well, the good for me, I feel really nice about at least two of my wagons now are, are, are in good shape. I mean, things can obviously turn, but they're way out in front. I'm a little disconcerted that I had to pretty much move units up into Nashville as sort of a very weak roadblock there. I'm still, I think, at least three turns away from getting Smith, any of Smith's infantry divisions. That's very disconcerting. I mean, I could lose this on the automatic victory conditions without you having to do a whole lot of fighting. Well, I will say that the good fortune of rolling the box cars there for Stewart and getting him uh. to Hillsboro, that, I mean, that yes. could just put the ever-loving brakes. I was, I was already planning for, okay, you know, I'm going to have to deal with slow march rolls and some extended march problems and things like that, but never in my wildest dreams did I figure that you'd roll... 12 and get all the way up there and just plop down yeah. across the creek and and stare down Cleburne and he'll go ah I don't want to talk today <laughs> yeah I, that really changed what I was going to do which was trying to you know just keep hoping I could get somebody up there <laughs> but to get the first guy up there that that did completely change my uh, approach to the rest of the day and I'm I'm a little I'm I'm basically fairly happy with my infantry being essentially I mean you've got Claiborne a little ahead of me, but I've got a nice roadblock in front of you now. You do? Other than that, I'm on I'm, I'm even on hexes with my infantry though. And we're all exhausted and and you've been pushing me hard, but I'm 
I'm I'm feeling pretty good though. I'm going to be giving up points obviously from here on in. But uh... <laughs> well, we've we've talked about it in the past. Uh, we go back to it again and again and again. How you know how I I love to keep a unit in the box. Well, this is just on a very large scale. I feel like the three prong approach. You know, having east, west, and from the south. I kind of got you squeezed a little bit and you're moving yeah. when you're less inclined to because you see Lee is coming up the back there and uh, and you, you know Stewart's there on that flank. I got really lucky with a roll and a six there to get him to that point and then I could rest him. Uh, so I need to I need to get Forrest and all the cavalry actually making some miles because everything thus far has been anywhere from four to seven on their movement rate average and it's it needs to be better than that oh, that that's my big concern is you're sitting there on a pike i i thought about moving johnson down to white mulberry and figured that's just asking him to get killed he's not going to stop you at all and uh because you can <laughs> there's just you can swing around him you can surround him and just wipe him out uh without even hardly causing you to slow down so uh that's my big concern you can move that cab group straight up the pike and that pike being franklin pike and if you get a couple initiatives then you're behind me with a very powerful cab force mm. that's that's uh well the goal certainly was to get up there and try to f- formally build a roadblock you know somewhere like the blacksmith yeah. or the toll house like we've seen before you get in there you build two or three units yeah. with abatees or breastworks and just let them come to you. But it just has not, it has not worked out. Yeah. I mean, the initiatives have either gone completely your way, which is great, or all of the disjointed cavalry movement has just been suboptimal. Yeah. yeah. And this, we've struggled with the roads and looking at the map without moving. You think roads are great. Then you actually start moving. You realize you're always having to move one, two hexes in the wrong direction. Sure. To make any direct, um, so uh, but this is very different than our first game, and of course, I think I sort of went into that thinking I'm going to get manpower losses. That's how I'm going to I'm going to win this game. I'm gonna pile up man, and it didn't help because right. <laughs> I ended up losing them all on the back end. But uh, this is really interesting how this is playing out. Very historical, I think. Other than we're a little we're we're a couple days ahead of schedule. Yeah, I mean, and and. <laughs> <laughs> and my Cleburne, you know, survived the the bloodless takeover of Columbia. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I just, this is the point where I think, as we discussed in the previous one, where uh, I, I do kind of want to sit down and say, okay, I've now separated the three core. What is the mission plan for each of the three core from this point going forward? Uh, and how can the cavalry support or assist or prepare for or whatever? Um, now it does become a numbers game because it's, it's like, well, you know, I, I mean, you're getting close enough to Franklin that Franklin may be soon off the table, and you're getting you're getting the ability to stay ahead of me, and now you've blocked Cleburne and Cheatham and all them. So sneaking up that western flank up the Natchez is is not going as well i mean especially the early on last turn they just the ones um, yeah that the, the poor dice really, rolls just yeah so that that really was like every time like, oh, oh. <laughs> I, know, I, I figured i figured because because of my wind how, was just going ah <laughs> how can i how can i blow up that how can i blow up that bridge there mm-hmm. um that's the one thing i was really hoping to be able to destroy those bridges back in columbia and i was like man i just can't uh, I gotta get keep heading north. I just gotta keep moving. I can't afford to sit there and wait. To well, thus far, um, the attempt rain has only been a factor on one day. As I mean, we did not actually have late rain on the the that's true. Yeah, on the fourth turn, so uh, or third turn. So yeah, the threat of it was worse than because I think you and I were just tiptoeing around it, like oh, oh it's coming, it's coming, <laughs> and it never showed up. <laughs> Yeah, I did a couple of those where you, you know, I I, I really have dreaded activating, you know, a whole bunch of units like that because it's like I know I'm going to roll, and I didn't on the one I got really good roll. Oh yeah, one, but, yeah. Um, but the the introduction of two subsequent or two sequential night marches for the union that's 
Oof. That's gonna, yeah. Um, that's really nice. It makes up for that command paralysis I got in the last game. So yeah, I can. I gotta really think about the right way to use that. It, it may be getting these, as you said. And that will close the gap to Franklin. Yeah, I, close almost the gap to completely. Franklin. Yeah, it's, it's another week. So uh, we hope you've enjoyed session number two here, and we hope you're, like us, taking notes of how different this universe is from the universe next door in the last game. Do keep those comments coming. We really appreciate all the feedback, and if you catch an error or something, or something that I don't note and post, of all the places that uh, I, I post this, of course, the YouTube comments are great, and uh, Consum World Community and things like that are all wonderful places. I, I check a lot of them, so uh, we really appreciate all of that very constructive feedback so thank you for that and uh tell your friends if if they are familiar with the system or brand new to the system and you're bringing them in we hope you are enjoying some of the videos and educating yourself and them with that and click the like and subscribe button that shows the algorithm that uh, we're doing something okay i guess <laughs> but you guys <laughs> you guys are sticking around so that's a good thing for us we are happy to have you here week in and week out and with that, I guess, Roger, we will uh, we will see you in a couple. Yep, see you in a couple weeks. Okay, well, Great have, game. have a good one. Yes, excellent game tonight, and I uh, can't wait to see you the next turn, as always. Good night. Good night.